Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we have a voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we're playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Hey, it's going to be better than yesterday. Oh my god, I don't know how it could be worse. We are here at the Wetland Stables. I like the Dryland Stables better. It's, uh, you know, it's a preference. You know, some like it wet, some like it dry, some like it wet, some like it dry. I'm gonna jump in this here well real quick so we get a well for the well lady. Yep, some like it why, some like it debt. Okay, we got, we got some stuff happening here. We got frogs. We got rose petals, rose buds for your, your loved one. Oh, smash it. Free arrows are always a, a welcome. Oh, God. Oh, I see a gilded rock up here. I know what you're going to do with it. I'm going to smack it and take its uh, nectar. Flip it up, smack it, rub it down. So the golden rocks tend to have, like, minerals in them. Not to be confused with Mineru, who is one of our helpers. Oh, Mineru. Yeah. There's nothing here, man. Yeah, where is the mech? I got rid of her, all right? We, we got Yanobo back. <laughs> Mineru guy, look, I'm going to tell you right now. Here's here's my problem with Mineru, all right? Every time I get on Mineru's back, I take damage, all right? That's problem number one. Problem number two, Mineru gets in the god dang way. Every time I want to do something or pick something up, I'm always jumping on Mineru's back. Then I got to press extra buttons to jump off of Mineru's back. There's another whale here. That's weird energy. What happens if I jump in this one? Mm. Oh my god, it takes me back the other way. One would, the world would have never thought this was an option. You're a well boy. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's my that's my beef with Mineru. Like she's she's a dumb she's dumb. All right, yeah. she's bad. She's bad at what she does. She she does a lot of damage. She's good to have around because you can attach. I learned that uh, if I attach a flame emitter and a frost emitter to each one of her uh, the hands of the construct, that it would do flame and fire damage depending on what biome I was in, Aww. and depending on that biome, it was a one hit kill for certain types of enemies. Very cool. Very cool addition, Mineral. Good job for you. You know what? You suck. You suck because you have you have little to no defense. Sorry, I gotta be the guy to say it. All right, we gotta find uh, Rooster Face. He's right there. He's right here. We found him. Uh oh, is it time? It is time. So get yourself prepared while I grab up these here splash fruits because I'm a forager. <coughs> I'm just gonna grab this up too. Oh. Hey, just add my pony points, boy. No, no, we don't need to talk. All right, yeah, that's, that's Can you freaking... strap in your pony points? It's real good, Landon. All right, Jones, you ready? <coughs> Hey, partner, get a good night's sleep? Oh, actually, hold that thought. We don't have time to squawk right now. Oh. I got a very interesting lead about our missing princess. We could have a pretty huge story here. Sounds as if one night a while back, and I'm not sure how far, Princess Zelda borrowed this stable's farm tools. Mm. That's a bit unusual. Why would a princess need farm tools? But this story has another odd twist. She promised to return them. And she didn't. Oh my god, no. Now, this all might seem trivial. She's a busy princess after all. Still, these are strange times, so I got to thinking only weapons decayed during the upheaval. Maybe the princess was in desperate need of tools for. for. Whoa, whoa, wait, Pen. Hold on. You gotten ahead of yourself, partner. We need to gather the facts. When, what, when, who. Let's start at the beginning. I heard that a man named Israel lent the tools. He's right around here. Watches over the stable raft, I heard. Let's get to work, partner. 
All right. The Missing Farm Tools. Oh, my God. This is dumb. This is a good storyline that we need to we need to embrace as I a part of our lives. I can't wait to dive in. You know what I have not done, though? Real quick. I just want to check my pony points. I was going to say upgrade your pony points. I, I have not checked this. So we can receive Ooh, a reward. I like receiving it. Let's do this while we're here. Ah, uh, yes. I'll be right with you. Okay. What's up, Landon? Uh, you'd like to get your pony points reward, oh. right? For seven points, you've unlocked the... Ooh, oh, Melania yeah. bed. <laughs> My wife, Melania. Yeah. <laughs> My daughter, Ivanka. If you sleep in the Melania bed, it not only will you make up more, wake up more energized, Melania, the horse god, may also share a mystical message. It's very popular. Sarah Jessica Parker is the horse god. A choice among our customers, but there's more. As a reward for 10 points, you can now register an additional horse. Oh, my God. You got double horse, if boys. If you see a horse out there you'd like to uh, make yours, please bring it to us. Furthermore, for 13 points. Okay, I got you. Give me the traveler saddle. Oh, my God. It comes with the traveler's bridle, oh so here's that. Oh my god! Too. Okay, yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot of rewards, man. Oh my god. If you save up two more points, you'll be able to get the special Melania resting service. We appreciate your patronage. So I actually, I actually do know where the horse god is. We are gonna finish this quest first, though. All right, I'm not talking to anybody else. We got a quest to finish. But we do know where the horse god is. I found the horse god. If it's you, beginning to look like a horse god. One must know. It's uh, in this vicinity. I think it might be. I don't know. Somewhere around there. Anyway. Nobody <laughs> cares about the horse god. Everybody's gonna care when I get the get the goddamn horse god. Look at this. This is a colorful cock. Ooh, it's beginning to feel like a colored. Colored full car. Yeah, you can run with you and fly with it a little bit. So I don't know if you've ever played any Zeldas before, uh, but uh, is this Isra? I don't know if this is him. But if you attack chickens, they'll like uh, swarm you and stuff. I don't oh. know if this is it. Nope. No, this ain't it. Good morning, sir. I'm not gonna. No, I don't see it. I'm not gonna talk to you. Just give me the quest. Give me the quest. Just get me out of here. Get me out of here. I'm not. I'm not reading all of this. Nope, nope, nope. I don't care about your monster, kid. Ooh, ah. I'm sorry, folks at home. You gave me a pony point. I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. An uninvited guest. We'll yeah. read that quest later. We're going to stick to what we know. Oh, wait. I finished it. <laughs> yeah, did your quest. Is that him right there? I don't think that's Isra. It said a man, and this is clearly a that's woman, that's Jonas. I don't know if you're good at body types. Ah. Women tend to have, like, uh, boobs. I mean, a ring shaped. Okay, okay, cool. Yep. All right, you're not Isra, so I don't want to talk to you. Maybe Isra's on the inside. Did he tell me where Isra was, Jones? Do you remember? He said uh, he's better than Isra. That's not. That's not mm. what was said at all. The Princess Elders needs the farm files for weapons decayed. Oh. Isra spoke. To, I think he watches over the raft at this the stable. Raft. The raft at the stable. Okay. There he is, that big boy. Hi, I'm Isra. Look, they force you to look and then you find the answers. All right. Isra, sorry, I'm a little busy right now. You saw the princess? Oh, I was wondering when you guys would show up. Your work with Penn from the newspaper, right? I didn't think this uh, to get out because I don't want people to think I'm saying bad things about Princess Zelda. But she did borrow our farm tools and hasn't returned them. Bro, let's go buy more tools. I'll tax you. This is a long time ago, but I do remember she said she needed them for something at Floret Sandbar. That's an, mm. uh, it's abandoned the river bend. It's around the river bend and then a good distance after that. Ah. So I got to go there. I take the raft there myself, but after all that stuff fell from the sky, I'm having a hard time getting down the river. So you might want to say I'm in a bit of a bind. Ah. Sigh, you know, the clear mess if someone could take me down river to Florida sandbar on that raft, brother. Ah. I got you, fam. Look, for one thing, we got to upgrade your whole rig. Your whole setup is a little antiquated. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out a fan 
and then we're gonna take out one of these here steering sticks. I'm gonna hook you up, all right? I'm gonna show you. Look, call me Exhibit, because I'm about to pimp your shit, all right? We're gonna... mm, hey, Exhibit, what do you think? You know what really makes me mad, Jonas, is that if I'd only paid attention, like, in the slightest bit, I would have noticed that there was a steering stick and... <laughs> and already there. Yep, yep, yep. You know, uh, look, so I will say is that there is one thing about this game. They tend to put what you need for whatever you have to do in relative, uh, in pretty good distance. And you'll also, like, run up. Please? 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 No, you also run across, like, little caches of, uh, like, items like this. And then you'll just be like, oh, okay, let's just, uh, I'll just take all of these items. It's pretty cool. And then you can, like, make a vehicle or something with them. I don't know, man. This game this game is really, it's it's pretty well done. I will have it's to say. It's an intuitive game. Yeah. As, as I've been playing it more and more, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves into one of them pontoon boats. You know what I'm talking about? This guy gets it. Yep. All right, fam. You ready? I can take you. Let's go. What? You mean you'll take me to Florida Sandbar? Thanks. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you offering to do that. Don't forget to cut the rope. When you're ready to launch. All right, baby. We're going to be ready to launch here. You ready? Let's go. I just want to fly. Oh, 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 oh. You got to cut the rope first. You got to cut the rope first. I remember. Cut it. Cut it. You better not. You better not. You. Be what? No, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. Nothing. Never mind, bro. Chill. Chill out. Chill out, bro. Control this hoe. You can't control your hoe? Jonas, why is this thing not moving? Because it's in the... Push it, bro. Don't take off without me. I'll murder your whole family. All right. We're off. <laughs> we're off, baby. Let's you go. Do you see him? Look at that. Look at God. Look at God. It's, it's like when you get moments like this, you really appreciate life right here, you know? Yeah. It's things like this. are little things, man. You never, You never get to see this. In your big city, in your big city life, you never get the... I've never rode a swamp boat. You never get to experience things like just, you know, being on your pontoon boat, you and, and you and your buddy Isra. You and your you and a stranger riding in the swamp with some fans and a stick. You got a freaking death scythe on your back. You see the dragon? Go get it. It's too far away. It's too far away. I'm done chasing dragons. I don't chase them anymore. What about chasing waterfalls? That's funny. I would chase those if, you know, to see what was behind them. Maybe this is the answer up here. I think it is. All right, baby. We made it. Easy <gasps> you money. You did it. Easy money. Oh. Whoa, we made it. You doubted me, my man. You doubted this. Ah! You did a great job getting here. Would you learn how? Where'd you learn how to handle a raft like that? I thought it'd be a rough run, but it all, it all turned out fine. Ah. Huh? Up in the sky, there's something or er, someone coming at us. Woo! Finally caught up with you two. I was flying around this whole area, partner. Trying to find out our facts when I saw you on this raft. Uh, <laughs> I figured you'd chase down our story, so I flew right on down to help. But, uh, where are we? Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing just barging in here? This place is for flowers and plants and all of the precious. Uh, you better watch out. You'll rule the day you trample on any of them. All right, so we got a Karen who is obsessed with her flowers. Whoa, who is this? Ever met her before, partner? Huh? Sorry, ma'am, but we're just looking for some farm tools that the Princess Zelda took ways back. I promise we won't pick any flowers. Huh? Picking flowers? I'm more worried about you uh, kicking them. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute, farm tools? Did you say something about farm tools? Huh? That's right, some farm tools from our stable. I went there, I want them back. Oh, well, that's my fault, I have them. There are an area, uh, this area is home to Princess Zelda's plain sanctuary. She asked me to take care of the special place for her. She loved these plants and spent a lot of time there making sure that the garden beds were happy in the homes and they had homes and stuff. We met and, uh, 
we meant to return the tools after we finished the work here, uh. but the princess, well, they say she went missing, uh. and uh, all the hard work it was ruined, and, uh, you know, just some darn ruins, and it's, it's, it's all been shit. Um, I've been working here so hard since, uh, since that time. It's nice to uh. see people again. Uh, really? What happened? Now that I think about it, I didn't tell the princess as soon as I needed our stable's tools oh. back. As long as there's a good condition, there's no problem. I'll just, uh, go ahead and take them back if you got them. Just hand them back to me, please. Mm. All no. this... <coughs> was All this was about a sanctuary for plants <laughs> and flowers, huh? <laughs> Sounds just like all Puppa Princess. I uh, found the time to work on a garden alongside the folks while restoring ha 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 rule. I tried to make these garden beds as perfect as they possibly as they were before. It's just so hard on my own. If only someone would help me. Ah, sure, glad to help. Keep the tools a little while longer. And here's a tip. Don't overwork the soil. Here's a tip. Don't steal my goddamn tools. And also, nope, that's all I got, actually. I hate this. <laughs> oh, uh, what's with her face? Ma. You said you'll help. I accept your offer. Uh -huh. What? I didn't say that. Ma. Well, close enough. So if just go, go get some clothes on and get out here, motherfucker. I need your help. And then you can tend to the flower. And I'll tend to the flowers. Uh, well, yeah, I'm glad to have your help. It's really cool. I haven't seen a man in a while. It'll be nice to feel your touch. Uh, put, uh, put, now put your back into it. Uh, I can't talk my way out of this one. Uh, I guess Just I'll say have no, Isra. Guess I'll have to help or whatever. Okay, fine. Seems I'm up to the, to the test. Uh, either way, you know. He's, he's, he's up the crook oh. without a paddle. <laughs> you can go home now. Uh, I'll handle it from here, guys. Thanks for your help. Well... Seems like we got those facts we wanted, and those two, they w w worked it all out, I guess. I can't wait to write this one up. I'll read us love glimpses into the princess's life. Here she was helping to create a garden. That's so cool of her. Expect the story in an issue of the paper soon. It'll be a real, real headline. Princess Zelda took some tools. So we worked on seven the stories. End. Yep, there's never time for a break. You know, I make sure Tracy hears all the details of what, what, what happened here. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. $100. Oh, oh whoops. Almost forgot, partner. Tracy's been really impressed with you. She asked me to give you a b -b bonus. Here you go. $20. I have so much money. I'm off to report back to Tracy so long. We're so rich. All right. I hate it. Literally on the next one now. That's all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, it's lovely. It's so lovely tonight. Christmas season. This shit is bad.